Okay, you're gonna make some quinoa porridge. Okay, you got some quinoa right here, ready cooked. Ready cooked quinoa. Yeah, you just all you had is in it is just sea salt. Cooked with just sea salt, ready cooked. Put in the fridge. This is walnut, walnut milk. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put the, gonna put the pot on, on fire, right here. Grab some water. Grab a little water. Sorry about that. Cause I'm holding the camera in one hand and everything else. Everything there. Okay, we're gonna pour some of the water, like just a little bit. Yep, that's it. To get the quinoa going. So we're gonna take some quinoa. Add the quinoa to the water. Let it simmer for a minute. See? It's quinoa to the water. Yeah. A little bit more. Add a little bit more water. Yeah. See, I didn't even use all the quinoa, so I can use this for another batch tomorrow. Pinch of sea salt. We're gonna add a pinch of sea salt and pinch of this. And yes, we can use we can use the vanilla pods. We're gonna use some vanilla pods, okay? And then we're gonna use some oops some allspice. This is the allspice. Allspice. We're gonna do some of that. Okay. As we got it boiling. The temperature let it boil is start doing its thing so it's get a little softer and melt a little more. So I just add a little bit more water. A tiny bit of salt. Yep, that's it. Okay, this is the vanilla pod. You're gonna put it in there. Little vanilla. All spice. You're gonna put a little bit in there. There we go. Give it a good amount. It's time to boil, turn it down a little bit. Stir that up, stir it up, yeah, I'm gonna let it boil a little bit, so, as in, then we're gonna get a secret ingredient, well, we get some agave, some light golden agave, let me just cover back the pods, these pods actually, these vanilla pods actually came from the forest, this is locally grown, yeah, it's better than using the extract. The extract has got all kinds of rubbish in there. But yeah, we use this, the pods. Yeah, just let it boil for a little bit and then let it get a little soft and in the, you know. So when you put the milk now, Yes, 
Let's see. how thick and creamy this is that's why I added the water so put a good amount here oh you see this see how creamy this is then that's why I added the water I added a little more water let's go a little further so So yeah, let it boil, let it do its thing. Okay, I see it's boiling a little, turn it down a little bit. Stir it, keep on stirring it. And keep on stirring it a bit. Now we're gonna add me some agave. You don't have to add too much agave one time because you can always add some to your to your bowl. Usually, what I add to this is a ripe, a ripe Buru banana. But we ain't got any ripe ones right now, so I didn't add any to it today. Gives it that extra texture. You blend the banana and give it extra texture and creamier. You know? Yeah. Just for that, to compensate. I might just add a little more milk. That's a tiny drop. Let's make it more creamier. More creamier. See, it's like oats, like mini oats. It's like a mini oats. Yeah? It's like oats. See? It's more creamier than oats, like a creamy, creamy wheat, oaty kind of flavor. Yeah, man. So you don't want to put too much one time, so you always put your garbage in your bowl if you want to extra, extra. So yeah, you know, let me see how it's getting. Oaty, it's real oats. They call that quinoa oats. It's my quinoa oat porridge. It's gluten free, full of minerals, and very filling and very tasty. So I make my quinoa oaty porridge. Yeah, yeah, you can um, take the burro banana ripe one, you blend it with a little bit of water in the blender, and then you add it to this. And they cook down. It even makes it even more creamy and even more tastier. And even more minerals. It has so much iron in the banana. Yeah, man. Love myself. So make yourself a porridge. Subscribe my channel. 758 Natural Order. Yep. The natural Order of Things. We eat natural foods. Love ourselves. Yep. Switch it off. Keep on stirring it a little bit. There we go. Probably done.